Hey there boys and girls, like Skill Flaky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. So today I want to show you guys how to spray or better said how to improve your spray. Because as we all know in CSGO spraying is actually the most efficient and preferred way to do and win a gunfight. You also know that I always heavily critique guys that are just like well just fire at a green dot like this and uh, learn how to control your spray to the very last bullet and you're good to go. And I mean, it's important to do that. It's important to learn the spray. That's the thing about this video. However, there's a lot more to it. There's actually, when you're accurate, it's, it's very more, it's a lot more situational than that. I will also talk about how to spray moving targets, how to spray down multiple opponents, how to transfer your spray from one target to another target. And yeah, in this very first episode of the series, I will basically just tell you the basics of spraying, what it is and when it's actually useful or how it works. So as we can see right here, this map is called Recoil Master Weapon Practice and up here we actually have the recoil pattern that we have to follow with the AK. So let me just spray next to a wall in order to show it to you guys once again. In the beginning we start to fire, we see the bullets are just going up and then they're kind of staying at the same height, they're not going up and down anymore, only left and right. So the first 10 bullets, it's basically the going up, that's the easy part, just fire. And you get a kind of a good pattern like this, even though like the first 15, 16, they're kind of in the same point. And if you try to fire an enemy, you usually have killed them by this time. So these are the, the, the beginnings of spraying. Those are like short burst sprays that you want to learn. Basically just the first 10 bullets, gotta reload, is the thing that you want to learn first. Of course there's another thing also to it, because if you crouch, you're more accurate with your spray. So why is that? Let me explain. As you can see right here, we have a straight pattern, just like back there and back here. This is the, the counter movement that you want to do with your mouse. Basically follow it like this and then stay on here and go back. So the thing now is that there is a fixed pattern like this. You're following this pattern. However, if I'm just firing another pattern like this on the wall and then once again after I'm done, I move a little bit to the side and do the exact same pattern again, we will be able to see that they do not completely look alike. You can see right here those two are not the same as these. Right here's a big gap, here's no big gap. So there's actually deviation, a slight variance to the pattern. So the bullets will completely follow this path or better said this path right here. However, there's a slight variance to it. So every time you fire a bullet, it will follow the, uh, the, the predetermined path, but it will maybe be a little bit up, more up or a little bit more down, a little bit more to the side, to the left, to the right. And that's why spraying is not completely accurate. Even if you master the spray completely, as you can see right here, it's completely countering everything you see up here. The bullets, they're not completely in line. They're not all in the same spot. And that's where the variance kicks in. That's actually what, spraying, what uh, makes spraying a lot less accurate the more you spray. So the longer you spray, the less accurate somewhat it gets in kind of terms of how you're trying to control it. And this is something that's very important to know. There's a little counter to it. So basically what you can do is when you spray, so let me just do another spray pattern I was basically saying right here, and let me be crouched. So what crouching is actually doing, it's, same give, it's still giving you the same pattern, the same recoil pattern, however the deviation of the bullets will be a lot less. So when you crouched the pattern will be more accurate. So what you basically essentially want to do is you want to start firing at the wall for like your first like I don't know five or ten bullets, the ones that are accurate right here because they these are just the up. They're easy to control and they have as you can see to the end like the last two bullets of the first nine they have a slight variance to them. But after that is basically you want to start after um, Sorry, after that you basically want to start to crouch, so fire and then crouch and like this you will again reduce the deviation that you actually get, uh, have from firing your bullets. So once again, uh, this map is especially good for beginners because in the beginning you just want to kind of reset it right here and maybe also lock your movement and then just try to follow the green dot to get a slight feel of where you actually have to fire. For me personally, you saw that right here, this bullet and a couple of them they were kind of breaking out. and hard to be accurate. What you want to do is you want to stay within this circle because that's basically representing the, the size of the body of a terrorist or counter-terrorist player model. So what I also feel is like after you have gotten somewhat of a um, feel of how to do it is try to learn it just by doing this right here. Kind of slipped off the keyboard right there. Um, it's just kind of spray right here and then learn it with the recall pattern. Again, I broke out right here because I wasn't countering properly and this is where 
uh, the, the thing right here, if you're resetting it and locking your movement, will help you to counter it. The same goes also, because we don't want to ignore the M4. Right here, if you start firing with the M4, it's a lot easier to follow. So the AK has actually the highest amount of recoil, or actually the, the most deviation and the biggest pattern. So whenever you're using the AK, you will have to compensate a lot more than, for example, with the M4 right here, or even more than with the M4A1S, because this one is actually the one with the lowest amount of recoil, so just reload and reset it, because I shot right there by accident. If you try to follow this dot, you just follow it a little bit, and even there, and you saw I was actually just holding the fire button, so again, doing the same thing right here, just holding the fire button, the pattern is very straight up, you basically just wanna fire, duck down a little bit, a little to the left and to the right, and f having a, a pattern like this makes it a little easier, so all the bullets were kind of within in between, so this is basically the first thing that I wanna give you guys that you can practice, together with me, with the recall practice, recall master weapon practice, for the first episode, try out the AK, the M4 and the M4A1S, but preferably most of all the AK, because that's the one that is really hard to master. So just get this one, lock yourself, reset the recoil, fire at the green dot and try to get the recoil down and to compensate for it. Of course you can also then just do it like this again and try to fire right here. And towards the end, the spray is breaking out a little bit, but this doesn't matter. Like, if the last five bullets you cannot control, I will talk about that in another video. But I hope this first episode was somewhat helpful for you. I know it was kind of basic and just going over the mechanics of how it works. But I think if you haven't played CSGO before and you want to learn the recoil pattern, this is actually something important to know. So next up, we'll talk specifically once again how to play with the AK, the M4 and the M4A1S and how to control your recoil and give you some more tips. And after that, of course, we move on to spraying multiple targets, transferring your spray and doing lots of other cool stuff. But yeah, I think it's much all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like this, go figure out.